He's a true German Shepherd, just shortened. <laughs> Four-year-old German Shepherd Quasimodo is believed to be one of just 15 dogs worldwide living with short spine syndrome. And his unusual looks have made him a social media star. It's crazy how viral it went. I mean, we had no idea. I teased it on our Facebook page a few weeks ago and it got a nice amount of likes, but nothing like out of control. And then as soon as we made a Facebook page for him, which is Quasi the Great, he stole everybody's hearts, you know. So I've been working really hard at making sure that we're posting about him and really showing his personality, showcasing who he is, because to be honest, he represents a much bigger group. Quasi was actually found running as a stray in Kentucky and they couldn't catch him. It actually took them five days to catch him and they had to use a live trap. Quasi was really fearful and scared of people at first. The first day I met him, he was so scared and shy, and I thought, I wonder if this dog really does enjoy life. And as soon as I got him home, I realized how much he does enjoy life. He's goofy, he's playful, he loves girl dogs. He thinks he is Casanova, That's not Quasimodo. Hard. I think anybody that sees him kind of falls in love with him. Quasimodo is now being cared for at Secondhand Hounds in Minnesota. Secondhand Hounds was founded in 2009. I was fully pregnant with my daughter and I always joke that hormones made me do it. We save thousands of animals a year. Um, we're almost at 10,000 since 2009. Quasi has what's called short spine syndrome. Basically what that means is that the vertebrae in his back are compressed and he is actually missing a couple of them. Right now, we're not really sure what he'll need in the future. We are having him see our specialist again to kind of make sure that nothing else needs to be done. Right now, he's just on pain meds. Um, he's doing great. He's mobile. He loves to nibble. He's very mouthy. He loves to herd. If he sees something running, he wants to chase. Hey, Quaz. Quasi does have to do some things differently because of his condition. Because of his neck, it's really hard for him to bend down to eat his food. So elevated food bowls or me holding it like this is typically what we do. The team have sent a vial of Quasi's blood to geneticists at the University of California to help discover what causes his rare condition. And while they've already received 1,200 applications to rehome him, Rachel and her family are in no rush to part with their unusual dog. He's a sweet dog. It's going to be hard to let him go. Right now, we're just trying to find out more about his personality so we can make a perfect match for him. But I urge everybody that has been inquiring about him to go to their local shelter and find a dog that's a great match for them because Quasimodo is one of millions in the shelters in the U.S. and worldwide who need a home.